What's up guys, my name is Alex Hune, and you're on 1UP Painting. This is Epic News, and today we're going to be covering all of these new miniatures that they have released, or maybe not new, but smaller scale miniatures that Warhammer Community has released. So, this is a Heresy Thursday article, Tiny Fire Support Incoming for Legions Imperialis. Warhammer the Horus Heresy, Legions Imperialis, is a game of truly massive conflict, pitching hundreds of space marines, soldiers, tanks, and titans against each other in true meat grinder clashes, clashes which capture the grand scale of the Warhammer's galaxy-spanning civil war. We've already seen a chunk of legions of Stardes arriving in the launch box, including tactical marines, contemptor dreadnoughts, demios pattern or demios predators, and Skikarian battle tanks. There's more following hot on their heels, and here's the first of the batch in the shape of the Legion's Astartes support box. So here we have some Leviathan Dreadnoughts, um, some support uh, vehicles, um, I forget what these Dreadnoughts are called, and then the little Tarantula batteries, I think is what those ones are called. All right, this box is packed with heavy firepower. Leviathan Dreadnoughts are some of the toughest units to crack below night scale and are more than capable of messing up heavy tanks with their mix of weaponry. They're also joined by Derdeo, pattern, or Derdeo Dreadnoughts, which are absolutely stacked with devastating long-range armaments. So here's a nice close-up of the two different Dreadnoughts we get in this kit. I am super, super looking forward to getting the Leviathan Dreadnoughts because I really like the model um, in Big Heresy or like Big 40K, but it's just way too expensive for me to buy one of those things. Um, but this is great because in this box, you get four of them and the Derdeo pattern too. It's like something that I would usually never buy. And I think that most people wouldn't really buy this, but it's cool because now like you get four of them. Um, so I think that that's like a big advantage that Heresy is going to, or that Epic is going to have is that it allows for players to get units that they typically wouldn't buy in like big scale games. The Legion's Astartes support box also adds rapier batteries to this selection of Dreadnought Death Dealers. These semi-automated carriages are used when Legions need to rapidly de deploy ordnance that is too heavy for even Legionaries to carry unaided, trundling into terrain unfriendly to tanks. Tarantula sentry batteries armed with LAS cannons or Hyperios air defense launchers are generally deployed as point defense weapons, but are often dropped in ahead of the main legion battle lines as disposable assets where they are where they exact a heavy toll on the advancing opponents. So here we have the what are these guys called? The semi-automated oh the rapier batteries. That's what these ones are called. I think that these guys look really cool. Um it's something that you again you just don't typically see this in like big 40k sometimes people would bring thunderfire cannons but these are like very different than thunderfire cannons though too um and yeah the tarantula support weapons these are really cool they're going to be nice like like they said point defense weaponry um so maybe like you could put this on an objective um or if they have like some sort of deep striking rule where you could like deep strike it in turn one and then like try to form like a, a line basically like a battle line um hold your hold your enemy back against that line. Every model in this article will be is available in the Legion's Astartes support box, which contains four Leviathan Dreadnoughts, four Derdeo Dreadnoughts, four Rapier batteries, and their minuscule crew, alongside four Tarantula batteries, all in plastic. Keep an eye out for yet more extremely small miniatures that might be lurking underfoot as we make way through our Legion's Imperialis coverage over the next few weeks. And join us for another Heresy Thursday next week. Okay, so the big takeaways is number one, these models are freaking awesome, man. I really like the Dreadnoughts, especially the Leviathan Dreadnought. Um, but uh, takeaway number two is that all of these are coming in one box. Um, and because these are epic scale, I had a theory that how they were going to do it, um, or for like how they're going to do sprues and box sets for Heresy, for epic Heresy is each sprue will contain like a set platoon formation or like a little battle formation or whatever they want to call it. So for infantry, it might be 
and one entire platoon on one sprue. Um, for this one, it's going to be, I think that this might be spread out across two sprues, but that's nice because then you get those two sprues in one box. So instead of just buying one dreadnought, you're buying the whole box. So you get all that kind of stuff, that cool stuff. They didn't say anything in here specifically about weapon loadouts, about like if they're going to have all the possibilities for the weapon loadouts. But based off of the other articles and how we are going to get all the weapon loadouts for all those other units, I would assume that we're also going to be able to, like for this guy, if you wanted to equip the double auto cannon on both of them, I'm sure you could do that. Same thing with this one. If you wanted to put the siege claw or whatever on this one here, I'm sure you could do that. Um, I've, as I've been building the Aeronautica models, they typically include all the possible options to equip all of your guys how you want them to because they're so small. And that's another advantage of heresy or of epic models. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to One Up Painting if you want to hear more news on epic heresy. And I will see you in the next video.